All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, we're going to talk about Netflix being in talks to stream the NFL games that will be played on Christmas. So actually, speaking of NFL games, so they did announce. Now, do we want to use the uh, breaking news, even though it kind of broke, you know, a couple hours ago? And eh, we're going to use it anyways. So... So, um, yeah, the, the NFL did announce who the Chiefs are going to be playing on opening night, and it is going to be the Baltimore Ravens. So I did say it was going to come down to the Ravens or the Bengals, but it, uh, it ended up being the Ravens. So we're going to get a rematch of the AFC Championship game from last year. So, you know, we get that right off the bat. So that should be uh, that's an exciting game to look forward to uh, between Lamar Jackson, the reigning MVP, against the reigning Super Bowl champions in Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. And we add another chapter to the Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mah- or the Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson saga. So, yeah, just wanted to uh, bring that up. We'll, we'll discuss that uh, tomorrow, and I'll give you my thoughts on the game. I mean, again, it's so far away, but, you know, again, just something else to talk about. So we'll, get, we'll talk about it tomorrow. But because um, the schedule does come out this week, we get the whole release on Wednesday, so, you know, I will talk about it on Thursday's show, and I'll give you my overall thoughts on it, but, yeah, so, just wanted to bring those things to light, so, yeah, Netflix is reportedly in contract talks to stream the NFL's two Christmas Day games in 2024, uh, nothing's been official yet, but, according to some reports, it looks like Netflix could be the home of the NFL Christmas games. The NFL was seeking at least $50 million for the broadcasting or streaming rights to each game, possibly as much as $100 million per game. Negotiations between the NFL and Netflix have caused a delay in the release of the league's schedule for the 2024 season. The original plan was to release the schedule on May 9th, but it will now be revealed on May 15th. Uh, Streaming services like Amazon Prime and Peacock, of course, have streamed NFL games. I mean, you got Amazon Prime doing the Thursday night games, and Peacock had a couple of exclusive games during the seat. Well, I think it was week 15, week 15 or 16. It was Bill's Chargers, and then they had the playoff game, which actually was on the other night, the playoff game uh, with the Dolphins. It was on NFL Network uh, between the Dolphins and the Chiefs. They did that game as well. Netflix, you know, they're going to be airing the Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight, as well as they secured a deal with WWE for Monday Night Raw. And I'm sure Eric, the wrestling podcast uh, podcast host here on the GSMC Sports Network, has already talked about that. But, um, yeah, so Netflix already has the rights to that. But now they're trying to, you know, get some, uh, some rights to the NFL, which would be big for them. Because, you know, I mean, this is kind of like, you know, I mean, the streaming services are battling in and out with each other. I mean, like I said, Amazon Prime, they're doing games. You got... You know, Peacock has the rights to some games. You know, I mean, it's only a matter of time before CBS has Paramount Plus, like, exclusively, has a a game air exclusively on their platform, which is one of the few streaming services that I don't have a connection to at the moment. So, hopefully that doesn't happen. But, yeah, I, I mean, now, look, it's good for Netflix. And, you know, for consumers that do have the service, it's not a big deal. But again, it's just another it's just another hurdle for some people that might not have access to that. So, if, you know, if your favorite team is playing on Netflix and you don't have access to it, well, you're not going to be watching it. Now, again, if you celebrate Christmas and you say to yourself, well, it's not that big of a deal to me. I could just, you know, I, I'm trying to enjoy the holidays and not stress about my football team. Okay, that's one way to look at it. But there are some people, including myself, that are going to be wanting to watch these games while you're enjoying the holidays and again i'll be able to but and many others will but then you got that group of individuals that might not be able to access it so it's just kind of tough for them it's another again like i said it's another hurdle that um some people are going to have to jump over if they're even going to be able to and you know, I, I've talked about this on previous shows, but yeah, this is the this is where we're going right now. This is the direction we're heading in, and it's not going to stop because again, you got streaming services that are already airing NFL games during the year, and it's going to continue. 
I, I mean, regular TV is not going to be a thing when you go down the, you know, when we progress and, you know, time, uh, time passes, you, regular TV is just not going to be there anymore. And I don't really watch it that often. I mean, I really am only watching it for sports at this point. You know, I'm not really watching regular TV to watch, you know, you know, TV shows. I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm watching it for games. And if there's nothing really on that I want to watch, I mean, again, like sometimes I'll flip through and look for, you know, if there's a movie on or some, or a show from, you know, my time, you know, not, not shows that are on now, but you know, if there's like a rerun of something or again, if there's a movie on, I'll, yeah, I'll put it on, just have it on in the background, but like, I'm not, I'm not watching regular TV religiously. I, it's, I'm, I'm just not doing that. I'm only watching it for sports. So, yeah, it's, uh, again, I'm not really happy the direction that we're going in, that it's just everything's going to be on streaming services as opposed to just, you know, you're flipping through channels and you go to whatever game you want to watch. You know, if like again, if a Yankee game's on and, you know, a big NFL game is on or, you know, with the Knicks being in the playoffs or, you know, well, I, I mean, I, I've been paying some attention to hockey, but not that much. Um, you know, you could just flip through the channels. But now you got to, you know, if you're watching a game on regular TV and you got to switch over to a streaming service, then you got to go to the app on your TV or if you have a Fire Stick or whatever, and you got to, you know, go go to it that way. You can't just simply click one button and you're there. So, but... Yeah, like I said, that's the direction we're going in. So actually, because I know I have Verizon, I think there is a we do have a Netflix channel. So actually, yeah, I'll be able to do that. But <laughs> but again, there's people that aren't going to be able to, and it's it's you know it's going to be annoying for them. And, and then, uh, but that again, that's just where we're going. So and again, I mean, it's it's good for Netflix because they're trying to keep up with everybody. You know, like you have. I mean, it was HBO Max, but now it's Max. They air NBA games. They air NHL games on their service. Again, Amazon Prime. They, well, Amazon Prime also has the rights to the Yankees, too. So they get 20-something games a year. Uh, Peacock, now they're, you know, they get the exclusive NFL games. They've aired college basketball games on there as well. So, you know, Netflix is trying to, you know, get themselves involved and keep up and have them broadcast sports. So that's why you got, you know, that's why they got the rights to WWE and they might be airing the two Christmas games on their platform. So, you know, I mean, that's good for them, but it's just, again, it's another app that you're probably, or another, you know, another app, another streaming service that you're going to have to try to go out and get, well, not try, but go out and get and download and make a subscription and pay for it unless you want to do the free trial because that's an option, but it's just, it's. Just more steps to have to watch an NFL game for certain people. Again, it's not an issue for me. It's not an issue for uh, for others. But it, th again, there's that group that is going to have a problem getting to, uh, you know, buying a subscription and setting it all up so they're able to watch their game. But again, that's where we're going. I mean, I me personally, not a fan of it, but it is what it is. This is a, this is where we're going. It's not going to stop. So you might as well just jump on board and, you know, or you're going to be left behind because this is where we're going. And before you know it, it's going to happen with the Super Bowl, too. It's going to happen with the Super Bowl. I hope not, but, yeah, I, that's... Uh, it, it's going to happen where we we might have to uh, might have to pay to watch the uh, the Super Bowl, which it, it's not going to happen in the immediate future. I mean, Roger Goodell Roger Goodell has talked about it, but yeah, I it, it's only a matter of time before we get to that point. So, but that's my thoughts on that. I mean, let me know what you guys think about Netflix now dipping their toes. In the NFL world, I mean, they kind of already did with the the roast of Tom Brady, but now it's not, you know, now they're going to be airing football games, possibly. So we'll keep an eye on that and, and see whether or not that's official. 
I mean, we're going to find out very soon. But before we go to break, though, just want to remind you guys again, but I have to switch up the, uh, the stuff here. Um, again, just got to uh, give me one second here. But yeah, just want to remind you guys again, tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link. That is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So when we come back from our second break of the show, we are going to talk about the Atlanta Falcons, talk about a couple things with them, her cousin's progression in workouts, as well as Falcons' optimism for Kyle Pitts and their hopes of him breaking out this season with Kirk Cousins at quarterback. So with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast.